Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to tie a loop knot on a jig. I find loop knots are very useful on jigs because it allows a jig to move freely in the water so it acts more natural. So what you want to do first is inspect your jig. You want to look at the, the eyelet. If that eyelet is not closed all the way, sometimes when they manufacture these eyelets, they're not closed. You want to take a pair of pliers here. And you want to close that outlet. You just want to clamp down on there and close that outlet. Otherwise you're going to have an issue of tying the loop knot plus you could end up uh, losing the entire jig by that line going through the uh, gap. So once you fix that, you're going to take your fishing line, go through your outlet like so, and you'll pull about eight or nine inches through a tag. Okay. Now you want to wrap those both lines there around two fingers. Like so. All I'm doing is going around like that. And you want to feed your your jig through that that loop you just made. There's one. I'm gonna do it three times. There's one two and three so the third one you want to take the eyelet of the jig and pull on the loop just like that and I'm just pulling the two lines here one of them is the tag and one is the main line and you're just pulling just like that keeping your finger on top of the eyelet so the loop doesn't go over and around it. So you're gonna keep on doing this to about right about there. I'm gonna leave a little bit of a of gap right now. So you wanna wanna maneuver this line just like that. You wanna work it around the eyelet. I haven't tightened down yet. You're gonna pull it just a little bit out because you don't want it up against the eyelet. You want Make sure it's tight. Like so. So now it's tied tightly and you want to make sure that this knot does not come in contact with that that, that barb, that hook right there. Because if it does, it's going to get, uh, you know, foul hooked and you're going to have issues not catch any fish because it's all wound up around the barb so uh, you just want to make sure that your knot is not making contact with the barb okay so now we got that done I'm gonna cut off your tag in Like that so now you've completed the loop knot now you see how the loop knot gives you gap around the knot and the eyelet so you can see how how much maneuver ability you got with that knot so this jig will be able to do whatever it wants wants to do in the water so it acts a little more lifelike now I'll go I'll go ahead and put on a plastic here this is a Bobby Garland two inch uh, baby shed uh, I don't remember the color it's a glow-in-the-dark type um, I'll put it all in the description oh and this is a size 4 uh, sickle hook all right so let's put this on you're gonna go straight as possible like that so that's your end product and that's how you tie a loop knot uh, if you have a different method of doing a knot on your jigs let me know down in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe uh, this is a brand new channel and I need all the help I can get I'll see you next time